Welcome to week four of our videos, our Sunday core messages that we are gonna gather around together uh, as we can't be in the same physical space. We are gonna share some resources, some thoughts, some ideas uh, through these videos. I want to remind us this week that we have a central theme and idea that's gonna run through these communications when I am sharing with us that we are washing our hands and we are loving our neighbor and how we are exploring what that means to us as we follow Jesus through some of those ideas wrapped in those ideas uh, are three thoughts about the presence of God, the people of God, and prayer. And so I want to bring something to us today. I want to encourage us and I want to remind us of something that I'm confident that we are all aware of, but in moments and times that feel like we are outside of the control of what is happening to us and there are things that are happening beyond our sphere of influence there are decisions being made that maybe we are not part of and they are affecting our lives significantly I want to talk about peace and I want to remind us uh, of some truth about peace and some things that again I'm confident we know and, and we live from but in moments and in times that we feel out of control we can feel like we have lost peace I want to remind us that, that that's not true. Uh, I want to remind us that peace isn't ours to hold and to protect, but it's a gift from God. It's God's to give and to sustain in us. And so we need to think about uh, how that affects us and how that changes the way that we think about what is happening to us when we understand that like our breath, if we hold it, we're going to struggle to sustain it. But instead, when we change our understanding of how it works and we let it go we are released to breathe again and again and again and I feel that peace is not dissimilar again it's not ours to hold and to protect but it's God's to give and to sustain and I want to think about our perspective on peace and how when we have a right perspective on peace that it's going to help us to live in a way that we can connect uh, with God and with each other um, expecting the kingdom to come and not to feel uh, judgmental or afraid to not be scared to not be nervous to not look to lock ourselves down in a time when things are happening to us the kingdom can still come through us you will remember and be familiar by now with these videos that we're going to do four things. So we're going to have some Bible that we can share together. I'm going to bring some thoughts for us to digest and to get into. There will be a time to pray and then there will be a call to action. And so for our, our Bible portion this week, there are many places and many things that we could think about. But I feel that there is a one place that that is going to help us understand our perspective on peace and the positive kingdom consequences of having a right perspective about peace as Philippians chapter 4 these well-known verses these well-known moments at this kind of rapid fire end to this letter of encouragement and there are seven encouragements uh, kind of really quickly packed together in some of these verses and then there is this breath this stop this instruction in verse 7 that I will read for us that speaks to us about some of the the positive things that will happen when again we hold a right perspective on peace I'm going to read Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and verses 7 for us today but I want to encourage you in your own time this afternoon through this day wherever you are picking this up to have a read of Philippians chapter 4 and to engage with the whole context of what is happening here but I'm going to read for us now Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God verse 7 and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus there is something significant about a peace that protects us that guards our hearts and our minds and we are not looking to shepherd or shield it when we are not looking to influence our external uh, conditions or things that are happening to us but instead we rest in God's ability to protect our hearts and our minds a peace that moves past what we are able to understand feels problematic or paradoxical but our lived experience with that is that 
it changes our perspective of peace and that it's not limited to my performance or my ability. Again, I don't facilitate uh, my peace, but I trust God uh, to protect my heart, to protect my mind, to guard me, to give me the gift of peace. And it's gonna change the way that I see other people. And so we have an opportunity now to pray. We have an opportunity to make our requests known to God, to give uh, Him some attention and to communicate to God some things that are present uh, on our hearts and, and in our minds. And I want to encourage you in the five minutes that we have today to communicate with God and make space to hear from Him and to let Him in into the things that are going on and the way that you feel and the things that are going on and then to receive in that moment the gift of peace from God. Let's take five minutes again as ever. We will count that down together. Uh, that will be included in what happens next. So you don't need to do anything other than think about your perspective and move it towards God as we pray.
All right, I hope in those moments that you have spent with God, that you have engaged with God, that you have spoken with Him, you've engaged in that shared existence with Him, that you've spoken to Him uh, about the things that, that are going on uh, in your mind and engaging in changing your perspective and thinking about um, what you are focused on uh, and receiving the gift of peace from God. As always, we want to move to a point of action. Um, knowledge uh, and understanding are made real in our application. And so there is a, a call to action that is threefold uh, for us. And I want us to think about how we live from this place of peace in God's presence. The presence of God is where we are going to change our perspective and we receive the gift uh, of peace that God has for us. And I think there are three things that can help us to do that. I think we need to think about how we repair our relationships. Romans talks to us about where it depends on us to live peaceably with, with everybody. And uh, we know from living a bit of life that sometimes that is hard and that is difficult to do, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't look to be people of peace. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't where it depends on us to live peaceably with others. So the first thing in our call to action this week is think about our relationships. Is it within our ability to repair damage to our relationships? Is it reasonable? Is it fair? Is it healthy? Is it safe? Where it depends on us to live peaceably with others. The second thing I want us to think about this week and our call to action about our perspective on peace is to check it regularly. Check your perspective regularly. Are you seeing people as Jesus sees people? Are you engaging with people through that filter of grace and of mercy and of love and of hope and of joy and of lived in, saturated in peace through the presence of God? Who are you helping? How are you helping them? Do we look more like Jesus today than we did yesterday? Check your perspective regularly. Make it a consistent thing that you are looking to do to engage with, hey, is this a right attitude? Is this a right setup? Am I extending God's love to people around me? Or am I getting a bit tweaked? Am I a bit frustrated? Am I a bit fed up? Am I hard to engage with and to be around? And is it within my ability to do something about that? And the third thing I want us to think about uh, as we challenge our perspective on peace, that we are reminded that it is a gift from God that he gives to us. It's not something that we hoard or protect and we push people away so that our peace isn't impinged upon. But as we breathe in and we breathe out, we trust God to give us the gift of peace. We need to talk to God about that regularly. And so we have to pray. We have to pray. We have to keep connecting with God. We know from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, that to engage with God regularly through prayer, that verse 7 is the consequence of spending time with God in prayer. The gift of peace is as we change our perspective to see God first in everything that we do. So remember, wash your hands. We spoke about Psalm 24 a few weeks ago. It feels like a long time ago now. Uh, who can be in God's presence? Those with clean hands. And with pure hearts. So we are making a conscious decision to change the way that we think, speak and act so that God will have his way. He will be glorified. Jesus will be honored uh, and that we see his kingdom come. Have a great week. Spend some time in Philippians today. Uh, connect with somebody. Send somebody an email. Send somebody a message. Pray with somebody. Speak to somebody. Uh, remember to engage with the things that we're talking about together. Content isn't the issue. Community is a priority. So wash your hands. Love your neighbor. Uh, take care and we'll see you soon.